and <clears throat> obviously uncomfortable today. Absolutely. Yes, I, I certainly understand that. Uh, I think the, the pressure that you're feeling up here, as well as that thick kind of colored nasal drainage that you have, means that you have an infection up in your sinuses. Uh, the good news is that I'm actually quite certain that you're going to get better. The question is whether there's anything that I can do to make you better faster, or whether our focus today should be on trying to make you feel better uh, while your body fights this infection. Well, last time the augmentin helped, so that's actually what I, what I want. Yes, certainly we, we do use antibiotics uh, with sinus infections uh, sometimes when we become more convinced that, uh, that they are bacterial infections as opposed to viral infections. How long were you ill last time? A little over two weeks. Yeah, I, I, I certainly understand your frustration. You must think that this is the beginning of those long two weeks. Yep. Just nip it in the bud. I'm trying all, to knock it out as yeah, soon as possible. Yeah, I, I understand that uh, perfectly well. The, the problem, of course, is that uh, the symptoms that you have almost assuredly represent a, a viral infection at this point. Antibiotics are uh, not likely to make you uh, feel any better. Actually, that's that's what the scientists tell us these days, is that these are viral infections and that our focus should be on trying to relieve the symptoms as opposed to using antibiotics, which really don't help in those circumstances. But the augmentin did work last time. It, it, it fixed me up real quick. Yeah, I, I understand that, and I think if we get to that point again, most assuredly we'll be using antibiotics. Here's what I think is likely to happen. Uh, you are, in fact, um, going to feel like this for a couple, two or three days more, and then you'll just get gradually better over time. You won't get worse. Uh, if you get worse, and by worse I mean develop more intense pain up here or fever, say 101 or above, uh, or if you're just generally feeling uh, worse instead of better, you'd certainly want to give me a call. Um, otherwise, what I expect is that over the course of this next week to 10 days, it'll just gradually uh, get better and go away, pretty much the same as it did the last time after you took the antibiotics, when you're farther out, two weeks out at that point. But, I mean, last time it didn't get better in a few days. It, it took a long time. So, so that's why I needed the antibiotic. Yes. So that is your principal concern today, is this is just going to go on and on. Yeah, it's, it, last time it took forever. Sure. Well, I understand that uh, concern perfectly. Uh, again, I... I think I can say with some assurance that's not likely to be the case and that we can make you feel better in the meantime and that over the next, um, you know, several days to a week you'll find that you're getting better even without antibiotics. This is a little handout that I've got for you here that talks about the problems with using antibiotics and some of the things that we can do to try to make you feel better. There are side effects to drugs like Augmentin, diarrhea, Belly pain are probably the two most common that we see. Sometimes we see women get vaginal yeast infections from the fact that the antibiotics kill off all the good bacteria and let the, um, the bad uh, bacteria as well as yeast grow. Um, and of course, you know, if we look at the big picture, uh, the scientists are concerned that using antibiotics too often um, contributes to resistance, meaning that when I really need that antibiotic to make you feel better, it won't work because the bacteria have become resistant. Down this side here, you can see that there are some things that we can do to make you feel better today um, while your body takes care of this infection. Um, I'd like to point out specifically the, what we call the saline rinse or salt water rinse. You can uh, get a number of devices at the drugstore to do that. My favorite is actually a neti pot. That's N-E-T-T-I-E. -T -T -E. It looks just like a teapot. You'll see little packets of uh, salt preparation that comes with it. You just mix up the salt and the water, kind of lean forward over the sink. It's very easy. Um, and literally run the water in this side, and out the, the other side comes the bad stuff, and it makes you feel better. You can do that uh, sort of one to three times a day. You may benefit from some decongestants, and we've got some um, medications you can buy without a prescription down here at the bottom that might help you feel better. And again, I don't, you don't have to suffer forever. I don't expect this to, to do what uh, happened to you the last time. And by all means, if you get worse, or if you're not getting better the way I just described, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. You've got my phone number. So call you. Call me, absolutely. Deal? Yeah, it sounds like a deal to me. All right.
If I don't hear from you, I'll assume you got well. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We will.